A young pregnant lady, Mia, barely escaped the life-threatening situation she was in before she was put into another, where she found herself stranded in the middle of nowhere. Due to shortages, Spain fell into chaos when a regime called Not Enough for All was carried out. First, the elderlies were eliminated in order to fight against the shortages. And now, the government has also started to get rid of pregnant women and children to prevent overpopulation. It was all too cruel, and the citizens eventually started to either fight back or try to flee the country in order to survive. Among the escapers are the married couple, Mia and Nico. Mia is pregnant and is almost close to giving birth. To save Mia and their unborn baby, they decided to flee the country and go to Ireland by being transported on a cargo ship. Once they were inside the container, Mia took off the cloth that was wrapped around her pregnant belly and sighed in relief. The couple talked for a while, with Nico comforting a worried Mia. Mia looked in front of her and saw another couple with their baby and daughter. Mia couldn't help but tear up when she remembered their older daughter, Uma, who was taken away from them by the military and was presumed dead. Mia blamed herself for the disappearance of her daughter, and Nico made sure to ease up her mind, telling her that it wasn't her fault, but rather the tyranny of the government. The group traveled for a long time, and some time later, another person even drilled a hole in the container's wall to let fresh air in. Suddenly, the truck abruptly stopped, and Nico approached the door to check what was happening outside. The door flew open, and a large group of refugees came rushing in, sending Mia down the floor and Nico stuck up front. Mia and Nico were then separated when the gunmen forced them to split up into even numbers. Along with the other refugees, Nico was put in container, Green 107. Mia, who was in a panic, called Nico, and the latter told her not to worry as they were going to the same place. Nico promised that he was going to escape once they reached their destination and come to her. After the phone call, Mia peeked through the hole again and saw the netizens trying to fight back but ultimately meeting their demise. Mia was shaking her head, horrified to see such cruelty as she watched the military take pregnant women and children away from their husbands and fathers. Mia cried out of fear and sympathy for her country. Later on, the truck stopped again, and Mia saw that they had stopped at a military checkpoint. The soldiers opened the container and saw nothing but boxes. The leader entered the container to check out the inside, not knowing that there was a fake wall that was keeping him from seeing the refugee. However, the leader stepped out of the container and walked beside it, noticing that the container seemed to be longer than it was when he was inside. He ordered one of his men to fire, and he saw that a hole was made near the very back of the container. The leader realized what was happening and went back inside the container, persuading the refugee to trust him and open the door. Mia climbed on top of the boxes and reached out her hand to help another pregnant woman up. But then a young girl fell for the military's tricks and opened the door, only to be shot by the leader. The military then started firing at the door, killing everyone except Mia, a dog, and a little child. The leader opened the door all the way and saw the child. Mia covered her mouth as she heard the final gunshot that took an innocent child's life. Mia cried as she sent a voice message to her husband, informing him of what had transpired and warning him to hide. The container was already right of the dead bodies when Mia felt the container being transferred to the ship. She fell asleep and woke up again due to a storm. Mia screamed for help as she could feel the container sliding, but the ship crew was too busy tying up the other containers and did not realize that someone was locked inside one of them. The container Mia was in suddenly flipped, and Mia lost consciousness. When she regained consciousness, Mia panicked after realizing that she was in the middle of the ocean with no land in sight. She tried calling Nico, but the phone screen was cracked, and she couldn't click on it anymore. Mia checked the contents of the boxes and found several things, such as Tupperware, jackets, and some useful stuff. Mia was looking at her notes with pictures attached to them, 
when she heard screams coming from outside the container. When she peeked through the hole, she realized that the container she knew Nico was in was sinking rapidly. Mia screamed for her husband as she fixed her phone to call him, but it was too late. Mia screamed in agony as she witnessed the green container fully sinking into the ocean, causing the deaths of many refugees, including her husband. Mia just sat down, not wanting to believe that her husband was gone. She wanted to just end it all and take her own life. But then she felt her baby kick, and Mia finally found another reason to fight for her survival. Mia fell asleep and she woke up to yet another storm that filled the containers with water. Mia screamed as she was engulfed in water, and then she jumped awake, realizing that it was all just a dream. The dream set Mia into motion, and she cut the rope that was tying a box up. Once the box fell, she opened it, only to be disappointed when she saw that it was filled with more Tupperware. Mia's disappointment vanished when she saw the rubber on the Tupperware covers and used them to cover some of the holes. Using a hose and Tupperware, Mia gathered water and poured it into the hose to let the water out of the container. Mia was fixing things up in the water to prevent it from sinking quickly when her phone rang. She answered it and was relieved to find out it was Nico, who apparently escaped from the container before it was put on the ship. Mia told Nico about everything that happened, and Nico promised to find a way to save her. One night, Mia panicked when she felt water flow down her legs, indicating that she was about to give birth. A storm broke out, and Mia was screaming in pain as she could feel the baby coming. Despite the pain she was feeling, Mia still managed to cover the holes, making sure that the water wouldn't get inside quickly. She then took off her clothes and held tightly to the ropes, screaming out as her baby came out. The storm finally subsided, and Mia was hugging her daughter when she felt discomfort. She pulled out the placenta that was still attached to her baby through an umbilical cord and put it in Tupperware. On day three of being stranded, Mia drilled holes in the roof, forming a square shape to make an opening. Her daughter, on the other hand, kept on crying. She tried to make the baby stop crying but to no avail. Frustrated, Mia yelled at the baby but quickly apologized when she realized what she was doing. Mia spent the remaining time of the day taking care of her daughter. The next day, she continued drilling holes. She turned on her phone and tried to follow the pattern to open it. But she couldn't, as the screen was cracked, which caused her to get agitated. Mia screamed as she started throwing things around. She went quiet when she saw a pocket knife and used it to cut through the gaps between the holes she made. Later that night, Mia was extremely hungry, but she had already run out of food and had nothing else to eat. Then she saw the placenta that was still inside a Tupperware. Desperate for something to fill her stomach, Mia ate the organ. Suddenly, she heard the wail of a wail. Mia picked her baby up and screamed while banging on the container when the whale bumped into it. The next day, Mia continued on her task. But then the pocket knife broke and Mia failed to open the roof. The situation she was in was affecting her mental health so much that Mia could feel herself drifting away. Later that night, while she was asleep, Mia dreamt of Uma standing in front of her, crying, before walking away from her. But before Mia could delve further into her guilt, Nico appeared in her dreams, reminding her that none of what happened was her fault. The next day, Mia woke up to the feeling of the rain dropping on her. She laid out Tupperware to save rain and drink it. Shen then grabbed a cloth and used it to pull the drilled roof open. After successfully making an opening, Mia laughed when the sunlight hit her face. Mia was lying on top of the container when she saw an airplane pass by. She rushed back inside the container to get a shard of glass that she could use to get the pilot's attention. But on her way out of the container, her legs scraped against the sides of the opening, and she screamed in pain as her legs bled out. Seeing that she failed to get the airplane pilot's attention, she decided to tend to her injury. She used the liquor that was inside the box to cleanse her wound and stitched it up afterwards. Mia then spent the whole night making nets out of wires. 
The next day, Mia used her makeshift net to capture some fish and cheered when she was successful in doing so. Since she had nothing to use to cook the fish, Mia ate the fish raw. Mia spent the whole day catching fish, taking water out of containers, and writing letters before putting it in Tupperware and throwing it into the ocean. Later that night, Mia heard something bumping into the container repeatedly. She carried her baby and climbed out to check what it was, only to realize that it was just Tupperware. Suddenly her phone rang, and Mia quickly answered the phone, cheering when she managed to answer. But her relief was short-lived when she heard Nico crying over the phone, telling her that he didn't much longer have to live. Nico got caught by the military. He was able to escape, but he was shot in the process, and now he was hidden inside a container, bleeding to death. Mia informed Nico about their baby, and despite being on the brink of death, Nico was happy for a short while as he spoke to his daughter. The couple said their final goodbyes to each other through the phone before the device died due to a low battery. Hugging her daughter closer to her body, Mia mourned the death of her husband. More days passed by, and by the 26th day, the water inside the container was reaching its limit. So Mia started building a makeshift raft so they could leave the container when she saw a seagull. At the sight of the bird, Mia felt hopeful that they might be close to land already. That night, Mia was preparing to leave the container. But before she did, she went back inside the water-filled container and saw the chocolate bar Nico gave her when they were still together inside the container. She grabbed the container and planned on swimming back to the opening, but her leg got caught by the straps. Using another pocket knife that she found, Mia dove underwater and cut the straps barely but successfully making it out alive. The container sank, and Mia panicked when she couldn't find the raft that was carrying her baby. A whale appears and passes under the raft, spraying water that hits the baby, causing her to cry. Mia heard her daughter's cries and turned to see the whale swimming away. That's when she found the raft and immediately swam towards her crying baby. Mia and her daughter continued drifting in the ocean. When Mia noticed seagulls flying over them, she spread dead fish everywhere to attract their attention, hoping for some kind of miracle. Nearby was a family on a fishing boat. The woman noticed the seagulls swarming around something, so she asked her husband to get closer. Seeing the raft, the couple pulled it up and were shocked to see a baby. The woman wondered where the baby's family was, and that's when she found a rope leading underwater. She pulled the rope and pulled an unconscious Mia up on the boat. The woman performed CPR on Mia and successfully brought her back as Mia coughed water out. While the husband called for an emergency, the woman tended to Mia, who was looking for her baby. The woman handed the baby to Mia, and the latter hugged her baby, crying in relief once she realized that they were finally saved.